Okay, folks, here's a quick review of the Glider Attack Green Goblin figure that was produced by Hasbro as part of the Amazing Spider-Man line of products. I picked this up at Walmart for $7.47. Now, when I first got the figure out of the blister pack, I liked what I saw. Uh, this Goblin has a more cartoonish look to him than the uh, Marvel Universe Green Goblin figure that I reviewed earlier this year. I didn't see any paint application errors on this figure. Uh, the eyes are painted nicely, as are the teeth. Also of note uh, is the scaling on the figure's costume, as it's nicely done. There also appears to be uh, some small smudges of dirt around the upper leg and upper arm areas of the costume, which gives the goblin the look of having been in battle. All of the goblin's joints worked well right out of the package. His head moved up and down nicely, and I've had no problem in moving the shoulders, knees, hips, or elbows. Unfortunately, uh, the feet are a bit warped, but at least it's not quite as bad as the Capture Trap Spider-Man figure. So what I'll do here is pause, zoom in, and give you a closer look as to what the figure looks like. Alright, Glider Attack Green Goblin came with one accessory. So let me pan down real quick and I'll show you what that is. Uh, the figure stand that you see him standing on was not included in the package. Okay, as you can see, uh, the Green Goblin came with his glider. Now, normally, I'm not a fan of these gimmick accessories that Hasbro includes with these figures. But, in this case, this one it actually isn't too bad. It has a firing missile that's right here and uh, that shoots out from the front of the glider which is something that, uh, I'll be honest, I think the Goblin would possibly use in a battle with Spider-Man. Also, the uh, wings move up and down when you press the uh, small button to fire the missile. So let me pause here and uh, I'll demonstrate how it works. And as you can see, it fires right off. And the wings move when you press the button, just like this. See? All right, and let me grab the missile here. Bring that in, and I'll show you what that looks like. Okay. Uh, the goblin can also be posed riding the glider. Unfortunately, uh, when you do pose the goblin on the glider, uh, the wing movement, do movement doesn't seem to uh, function quite as well uh, when he's standing on it as when you have him uh, standing off of it. All right, back to the figure itself. What I'll do now is a quick 360 of this figure and let you see what he looks like from all sides. So overall, uh, I like this figure quite a bit. He doesn't seem to have any paint application errors. He looks good. And even the gimmick accessory isn't too bad. Um, I do wish that his feet did fit a bit better on the figure stand that uh, I, I have him standing on. But uh, all things aside, I'm going to go on ahead and give this figure a good recommendation bordering on great. And I think this is one to get, especially if you missed out on getting the uh, Marvel Universe Green Goblin figure. Alright, so on that note, take care and stay tuned for my next review. Have a good one.